All right, this problem is from quiz three, sections 6.4 and 6.6, .6, similar to your problem number 10. It says, refer to the rectangle on the right, and we can see that we have a rectangle over here color, colored in green. A says find an expression that represents its perimeter, and B says find an expression that represents its area. For argument's sake, we're just going to call this longer side here the length. So 2k plus 1 over 28 is the length. And this shorter side will be the width, 7 over 4k plus 2. All right, I already have written down here that the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals 2L plus 2W. In other words, 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So let's plug in our length and width, P equals 2, and then in parentheses, the length, we're calling 2k plus 1 over 28, plus 2 times the width, which we are calling 7 over 4k plus 2. So, let's multiply uh, these terms out here. And this 2 here is actually 2 over 1. This 2 is also 2 over 1. When we multiply this 2 over 1 times 2k plus 1 over 28, this 2 is going to cancel out here with this 28. The 28 is going to become a 14, and the 2 is going to become a 1. This will leave us with 2k plus 1 over 14. Plus, before we try to cancel anything out here, we have to factor out the 4k plus 2. So I'm going to rewrite 2 over 1. And the 7, I'll rewrite that. 4k plus 2, we can factor out a 2 from both terms. So we have 2. And then in parentheses, we're going to have 2k plus 1 close those sets of parentheses. As you can see, these twos here will cancel each other out. All right, so let's rewrite our term here. So P, our expression, P equals 2K plus 1 over 14 plus 7 over 2K plus 1. All right, next up, we'll have to add these two up. And of course, when you have two fractions with different denominators, you cannot add them up. So what we need is the LCD. And our LCD is going to be comprised of these two factors, 14 times 2K plus 1. All we did was multiply these two. All right, let's fix that up here a little bit. So 14 times 2k plus 1. Notice that from the first expression, what we're missing is the 2k plus 1. From the second expression, what we're missing is the 14. So this is what we're going to do. We write p. We are going to multiply this first expression by 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1. So 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 over 14. That takes care of our first expression, the first part of our expression here. The second part of our expression, remember we said is missing the 14. So once again, we're going to multiply by what it's missing, 14 over 14 times 7 over 2k plus 1. All right, on top here, we're going to have to use FOIL all right, in our shortcut for FOIL. So we take the first term here and we square it. So we'll get 4k squared. And we're going to have a 2k and another 2k. That will give us 
4k and our last term is going to be 1 times 1 which is just 1 plus 14 times 7 is 98 all of this is now over the same denominator which is 14 times 2k plus 1 all right, we are almost done here. All we have to do now is combine the like terms that are on the top and realize the only like terms that we have are the 1 and the 98. So our final answer is 4k squared plus 4k plus 99 divided by 14 times 2k plus 1. All right, we've finished with the perimeter, and we still need to find an expression that represents the area of the triangle. So this is part B. A formula for the area of a triangle looks like this. A equals L times W. In other words, area equals length times width. Once again, we're going to say 2k plus 1 over 28 is the length, and we are also going to say that 7 over 4k plus 2 is the width. So area equals, let's put the length in first, 2k plus 1 over 28 times the width is 7 over 4k plus 2. Recall that from the previous part with the perimeter, we factored this bottom part here. So let's write a equals, we still have 2k plus 1 over here, over 28, times 7 over 2, and then in parentheses, 2k plus 1, close parentheses. All right, at this point, what we'd like to do is factor out as much as possible. So let's write that in red. As you can see, we have 2k plus 1 here in the numerator. That is going to cancel out with 2k plus 1 here in the denominator. We have a 7 in this numerator and a 28 in this denominator. This 7 will become a 1, and this 28 will become a 4. So what we will have left is that the area equals, on top here, all we have is a 1. Over on the bottom, we have 4 times this 2, and 1 over 4 times 2 is equal to 1 over 8. So our expression for the area is 1 over 8.